We have asked for the priest to pour the proper libation for our family to be. I go. Amen. to acknowledge that the king of all this land is in our midst. Just here to my right, Itri Hen, sitting here, is also witnessing this ceremony that is going to give you your family names. Also sitting with Itri Hen is the royal family members. We are sitting here because they also came to witness along with the ancestors the proclamation of our family members returning home on this great homecoming eve and getting their proper names. The name that you are going to be given is going to be your, your day names. And a lot of the times you think or you hear that these are just names of the week, day names. But it's much more than that. Our names are not just named after the day of the week. Our names have to do with the, the story of creation. Our names are not just born on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Our names have to do with what happened on the day that you were born on the creation day. Now, here's a challenge to you all. How many of you good Bible school students, good African historian people, can remember what happened on each day of creation, the African story of creation? We all know that certain events took place in seven days. Now I'm challenging you to remember what were those events. We learned it back in Sunday school. And it comes from a longer history of African people. Because we the one who brought it even before Christianity. It was the African story of creation as told by ancient peoples all over the world. Ancient Ethiopia, Sudan, Ancient Kemet, have this story and this history in their scriptures. First of all, I will ask you all this. What is the first day of the week? Some people are saying Sunday. Everybody agree it's Sunday? Okay, we all agree it's Sunday, great. Now, I will ask you due diligent peoples to remember on the first day of creation, what did the creative forces, God Almighty Goddess, do on Sunday? The first day God did what? God said what? Let there be light? What did God do on Sunday? Good. Good. Somebody said rest. Now we're going to go to the point. First of all, if Sunday is the first day of the week, why would God need to rest on the first day? But I'm going to go to another corner to tell you the reason why you feel like God rested. It's resting in the name 
that West African people have given on Sunday that sounds like God rested. But God didn't need to rest on the first day of creation because she was just beginning the work. Now, let's go into, not go by, let's go into the scriptures. And let's go into the etymology of the word. First, before I do that, I will ask you all to listen to this. Since you've been here in Ghana, West Africa, you have noticed that we have a lot of names that start with the letter what? K. K. Why do we have all this K? K is a symbolic expression for something. The alphabet is symbolic expressions of something. Now, K looks like this. A double helix side by side with one of the helixes wrapped around the other, right? The K looks like this. Two helixes with one wrapped around the other going like that. It is an abbreviation of a, another symbol, of another symbol that extends, but the K is an abbreviation of this extended symbol. If you extend the K, the K would look like this. Two helixes side by side with them wrapped around each other that would extend like this. Now, I've shown you the symbol. Can any of you think of any symbol that we realize in our actual time that we're living in that goes like this? What is this symbol? Infinity? Infinity. DNA. DNA. Why did African people choose the letter K to represent DNA? Furthermore, what does DNA represent? It represents what? Blood. African people use K because we were saying we have the original human blood bloodline that comes from where? God, Onyami, omnipotent. Onyami, God. We are the only beings on the planet that have the God particle, the God gene in our blood. What do I mean by that? Other beings that's on the planet are not fully grown human homo sapiens. They have what mixed in their blood? Animal. African people then are the only people who have the full homo sapien 110%. And we said it's because we are the only beings that have the true God particle. That gene is in us. Other people, no hate, they are mixed. Mixed with what? Animal and other species. You are the original creators, queens, kings, gods and goddesses of the planet Earth. That's why we chose to use K. You also will notice why do we also have so many names in West Africa that sound like this. Kwa. Kwa Ku. Kwa Mi. Kwa si, Kwa Jo. Did you think about that? Why y'all got all that Kwa, 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 Kwa? The reason why you have Kwa is this. The same way you always hear around the world, the connotation of Ah, La, Ja, Ho, Va, Na, it means what? God, Jehovah, Na Na, Allah. Here we say Kwa, and Kwa means what? God Almighty Goddess. Kwa. Okay? This is simple information. Now, we already laid that down. Listen to the etymologies of the words. Because the name that you hear today is not the original way we spoke it. Here you just say Kojo. It's not Kojo, it's Quadro. Here you say Kwesi, it's not just Kwesi, it's Kwesida. Or Kwasida. Now in Ghana, West Africa, Da means what? Day. Da means day. Now, we already established Kwa means God, Almighty Goddess. Da means day. 
look at the etymology of the of the name in the center of that name is this qua i see da what did god do on sunday the reason why you say this sound like rested is because god came down from the heavenly plains to start the work of creation god didn't sit down god came down from the earth from the heavenly plains to the earthly plains to start the work of creation on Sunday. It sounds like this. Qua ascended down on that day. Qua asida. That's the original name. Qua ascended down from the heavenly plane to start the work. God came down and said, let her start the work of creation. And each day of creation, the event that happened on that day is associated with the deeper etymology of the word. All you gotta do is, what happened on Monday? What's the name on Monday? Quadro. Quadro, adro. Do anybody know the event that happened on Monday? Astute students, what was the event that happened on Monday? This is beautiful. This is a beautiful relationship to show you how African people did not just name themselves arbitrarily. They was talking about creation when they took their names, y'all. It's a beautiful story. And not only that, but each event that happened has something to do with your personality and your character and your spirit. And I'll prove it to you. I'll show you right now. And you won't be able to dispute it because it's related to your personality and your character. If you just do a little research, I won't bother because we're just enjoying and I won't take your time to do them all. But I will do some to show you. Anybody arbitrarily, tell me what day of the week are you born on? Friday. Friday born. Now let me tell you what happened on Friday. First of all, let, let's, let's identify the name on Friday is Ethier or kofie. You know what call, call, call means. Call means what? Call. Somebody's annoying you, say call. It means what? Go. Kofie. Ko. It means go. Fie means house. Friday born people means this. Kofie. Eh, fie. Fie means house. And my boy, Ewan. It means house. Friday means go home. Fiancra <laughs> means the safety, security of home. So people born on Friday, they usually have immaculate homes. They are the people that are great hostesses. People love to come to your house, don't they? Mm -hmm. Are you a great host? Yes. You got a beautiful house? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes people come to your house so much, you got to pull the blinds, shh, turn off the lights. <laughs> Family want to come and hang out with you because you have an immaculate home. People born on Friday, Kofie, and your house is safe and secure, and it's beautiful, and your family members want to hang out with you all the time. Am I lying? No. Am I lying? Tell the truth. People on Friday have good homes. Who else? Pardon? Same. You got a beautiful home, don't you? You're a good hostess. And you're a homebody people. You don't have to leave because people come to your house all the time. You don't go nowhere. Y'all know her? Have y'all been to her house? She's true. You're verified. Come on, Brooklyn. <laughs> let, me just, let me just show you how beautiful African people are. We are not no normal people. We are spiritual people. And we are related to the creative forces. It's in us. We are the gods and goddesses. There ain't no fictitious god somewhere in the sky. It's you. What day? Thursday born. Get out of here. <laughs> Thursday born is called Yah. Yah means what? Yah and Yah. That is the day, the event of God gave the power. You must reproduce. You are the producers. Yah Santua. 
Ya means, Yao means, look, on ya me. On ya me means God. You are the day that God, Almighty God, has gave us the power to reproduce. That's the reproduction day. You should have plenty of children. You should be a mother. You supposed to born. You are a producer. You only have one, she says. She says she only have one. You are not telling the truth, Anna Baboa. You know why? You have more children that don't necessarily mean that you're your biological children. Children love you because you are a good mother. You are a producer. Two orphans did what? I'm trying to tell y'all, this ain't no joke, y'all. You just got to read in between the lines. You are a mother of all. You are a producer. You can look in your face. You are the epitome of mother. That's right. I know you are. I know you are. I got to do one of the brothers. I did two sisters. I got to do one of the brothers. Which brother want to want to get done? I got to do the elder. Uh, but, but, but the elders don't have to speak because his actions let me to know. He don't have to let me to fool him. I will never disrespect my elders. And I'm a king here, yet it's still, I recognize when the elder give me the sign language. We got, y'all saw the sign languages here? Faces, hands, gestures, sounds. So when the elder give me that expression, he's saying, bro, don't step, don't, don't step. He said, I know, he said, I know. I have an elder here who's also willing. What day, my brother? Uh, Sunday. Come on, that's easy. We already identified what happened on Sunday. We already identified that is the day the creative forces came down to start the work of creation. You are a good starter. Production people, you produce. You sit down and somebody have an idea and you say, this is how we need to get it done. You probably responsible for bringing some of these people here. You are the producers, production. People born on Sunday are the people that came down to look at the blueprints and create the blueprints on how we're gonna create, do this creation story. You are the ones that sit down and design the thinkers to say, this is what we need to do first, second, third. Y'all are the people that, the thinkers that say, I was here, an idea, and I can make it happen. Am I lying? You are production. Are you responsible for more people to be here? How many people have you? I got four. Four people with me. So we all came here. Is it because of you the four people are here? Was it your idea to bring them or their idea? Well, the Queen Mother's gonna always go to the And we all made it happen. Once she said, let's go, I made it happen. That's what I'm saying. When she said, let's go, then you start making the connections to say, this is how we're gonna do. We're gonna yeah. take you, 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 and we're gonna go and do that. And I'm gonna make the finances and make the production happen. Because that's the day of production. That's the creative forces coming down to the earthly plane to say, let me figure out what's the first thing that I'm supposed to do. She said, honey, I wanna go to Africa. You said, babe, don't worry about it. I'm going to call homeboy, hey girl, they've got get, and then you're the production people. Can I do one more? Yeah. Who? Tuesday. Tuesday born is very special. Wow. He's also Tuesday born. Bina, Bina means a place, a land, a foundation. Once the creative forces came down to start the work. Monday passed, Tuesday came, and when Tuesday came, Tuesday had to be the day that I gotta create a place. Abina, Abina means this. A solid place. Oh, where will you descend, Bina? I will descend, I'll be in this place. Kwa Bina, Kwa is there, God is in that place these are the people who are foundations. They are usually the people that you don't notice, but they're the backbones of the family because they are the place. You are representing a place that the family members, well, you probably got the family house, 
people know your place because you are the foundation of families. You're the foundation that the creative forces says, where are you going? Miko Abena. Mikre, Abena, 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 yes, how you say that? Miko Abena. Yeah, we got a village called Abena, not far from here. It's a place. It's one of the original first places. It's a place that is a foundation that is set. So Abena represents the, the, the physical structure. It's different from Friday Borns is the house that sits on the place. The first home is in the place called the garden. So the house, Kofie, Fie, the house sits on the land, which is the place. You get it? You represent the house, you represent the land, the place, the actual place. And every single name is like that. Now we're gonna go on. You can go online and look this up, it's there. Do some due diligence. Shall we start with the first names?